for you to work with us to identify large businesses in your region which would normally be outside your reach. Pick, for example, the council, the DHB, because this is where our strengths are. So our intention is that you'll give us leads from, you know, there's this college which I've been talking to, or there's this council and would like to go and do a pitch, and then we will come with you, help with the quoting process, help with the whole, the transition. And then instead of you just being the boots on the ground, you've now got a relationship. So with these larger companies we take over, we want you to manage the relationship, if you wish to, and we're talking about profit sharing with you. So let's say we go into a council and we sell, put in a solution that say, $300,000 of the servers and there's 100 new workstations and we need your team to work with us for a week to implement it. It's not going to be a case of just paying you for the labour to implement that solution. It's going to be, well, here's your percentage of the workstation and the servers. So it's about anchoring you as a key component of these regional solutions. You would have to be able to be involved in what we're doing there. It's not going to be a case of you operating from remote control. So it's a bit deeper than the traditional model that a lot of the providers like Gen I Spark do, where it's just a case of I need a man on the ground. That is also true, but we're wanting an actual relationship with who we're using. So this is why, again, we're coming across as that we're, we're not here to open branches in every region. We want to find somebody to work with in each region. And it was obvious from our course that there are the people out there. They and that was the key thing. We went around New Zealand and we've been, how have 100 people been through our workshops? And it's obvious, about 50, about yeah. 50 and yeah. there's obviously a lot of very smart, clued up guys in the region, that's who we want to work with. We don't want to come in and steal your customers and start dealing with Tom, Dick and Harry. We just want to come in and assist you to scale up in that bigger space so that we can basically become, yeah. together, a very strong regional company. So on, it, on our courses, uh, we talked about the Microsoft research that's been done around what the modest size IT firm must do in the future. And the, and the research talked about scaling the business up, breaking through that, gla that technical glass ceiling instead of dealing with a business of 10 and 15 seats. Break through that, target 50 seat businesses, 75 seat, 100 seat businesses. And so this is us going from the theoretical to actually delivering a way, a model, a business model where we can actually break through into that uh, higher business uh, seat market. But it needs partnering up, partnering smart. And so like an example of this is with, with us, so PC Media, if you attended our courses, we talked about the fact that we went from traditionally up to a ceiling of about 20 employees. Now recently we got into the 50s and 100s and a couple of months ago. This is about us lifting ourselves up and this is what we want to do for the other partners as well. And uh, the whole part of the, the partnering smart that Peter got onto was it's also um, not just about the IT support. So um, we work with training companies, SharePoint developers, CRM experts, we work with networking companies. So from PC Media's point of view, we've always gone out and partnered with firms in Christchurch or Wellington to help us deliver our solutions and it's offering these solutions to you. So, for example, if you have a large company that says, hey, I want a complete network overhaul, um, I need lots of VLAN set up and lots of switches and some secure firewalling, you don't have to go, oh, that's something I can't do. You can go, yep, yeah, I can do that, with the confidence that there'll be somebody in the alliance that can do that for you. If you have somebody that wants a CRM package delivered, you don't do CRM, we don't do CRM, but we've sold successfully five dynamic CRM providers by using a third party to design it. And we've, we believe we've got enough core partners in the base of where PC Media operates to be able to roll it out. So it's basically using the model that we've, we know works here and applying it to the other region. Key thing. Mm. It's to give the customer some confidence that we're more than just a firm in a region. If we can uh, uh, sit at the board table uh, as Lee does the pitch and say, this is actually the IT Alliance. Oh, who are you? Oh, well, we're it's a regional partners. We've currently got 14 partners across the region in New Zealand. Uh, we already have uh, two partners, say, working in this, uh, this business sector already. So it gives the customer confidence. And like when... So what's the step now? The step now is we've identified 26 targets. We'll say, I go, yep, I'm in. Oh, yep, you're in. Yeah, well, basically, we'll well, send you over a non-disclosure agreement. Have we got that far already? Yes, we have. It's all, all done. So non-disclosure agreement, and then there's a, a master level service agreement and all the paperwork behind it to see whether you can do what the standards say underneath. Um, and then um, if you're up for it, then it's joint venture agreement, off we go.